Next up, my homie Sticks. Ta-da! Let's listen to what he has to say. Where I'm from is um, Nashville, Tennessee. The high school that I went to is uh, Montgomery Bell Academy MBA. And um, pretty much my whole family's from South Nashville. And so then we just, everywhere, all of my whole family went to Hillsboro, and I was the only one that went to Montgomery Bell Academy. I was a baseball player all through high school. And um, a guy, a coach was just like, you should look at the NBA and it opened my parents' eyes up to it. And so my father really wanted me to go to the NBA really bad. Like he really wanted me to graduate. I have a song about that actually. And he really wanted me to graduate from NBA. So that's why I stuck it out in NBA. I mean, it's a great school. I look back on it. I didn't appreciate it at the time, but it's a great school. My name it used to be Sticks. It comes from my father. My father, he passed away when I was 16 and his friends called him Stick Willie. So then his friends used to call me Little Sticks. And then in college, I went to Belmont, and uh, my uh, friends in college, they just started calling me Sticksism. I did a song, actually, and it was called Sticksism. And then they just kind of stuck with me. I got in the, involved in the music business because really, like, after my father passed away, I used to write poetry a lot. And it was like, I didn't, I didn't speak to people about it. So it was kind of like my outlet, you know what I'm saying? So, and then I, got, I went to Belmont for music business. And then, like, from there, like, I just, it just it took off with me, man. And then I just got into hip hop. Well, it's been, I, honestly, like, it's a blessing working with Craig King, because I've worked with a lot of people, and they are shady, and, but Craig King is a really good guy, and he's really motivated, and he's really talented, so it's, it's nice to work with, like, talented people that you can learn from. It's a blessing, really. I think the music industry should head in, a, like, a, obviously, a more positive direction, and I think it is, because record, records aren't selling nowadays with all of the dancing and et cetera, so it is heading into a more positive direction with positive music and positive artists. Oh, that's, what we, that's what we need as a whole. You should go and give 100% every day if you're gonna do this. You should never slack, never slack off at all. 100% all the time. Because when people make it, it really is a blessing to make it. And I haven't made it, but I'm gonna give 110% every day until I get where God wants me to be. So that's, where, that's what I would say. You can't slack off because you can't take a minute off. Like it really is a full-time grind, like, every day. I mean, I, I would like to say that we just need to have more positive to, to positive vibes to each other as, a, as black youth. Like, we need to have, like, positive vibes to each other and not discourage people from making good grades in school. Because that was the other, other day I was around some young guys, and they were just really, like, making fun of this guy for doing well in school. And that just sounds backwards to me. So I think, like, we should have, like, more positive energy towards each other. You know what I'm saying? Like all around, like in every category. Whatever you do, support them. Support everybody. Stop hating. Basically. <laughs>